Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate text content using WordPress and Elementor Pro. Before we start today's tutorial, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get free access to all of my 800 plus video tutorials. Okay, so I'm just here on my development website. This is the one that I'm working on at present and I want to show you how to animate text so if we were to just reload this home page you can see there's a few things that get animated on this page like these things will fade in I'll show you like images a little bit later but I want to slide in some text or do some sort of text animations uh, sort of phase or slide in sort of stuff right so I'm going to show you this on another page this page is quite heavy so let's just go to this WordPress page in fact let's go to uh, let's do the e-commerce page right pretty similar so it doesn't really matter what page we look at. We're just going to go in and edit with Elementor. So it's really the text I want to kind of focus on today. And in the next video, I'll show you how to animate some images or how to make movement on images, which will be um, in the next video tutorial. So let's just take this text here, right? Sell products or services online using a custom e-commerce uh, shop website, custom design e-commerce shop website. So if I click on this little pen icon here, that will enable this text or allow me to select this particular piece of content and I can go to advanced here and under advanced there's quite a few different options but one of them is motion effects right so if I click on motion effects you'll see there's an option here for entrance animation if I go to the drop down and click fade in and then we just set it to let's let's actually try um, let's fade in up now you can see it kind of moving upwards right and you can set, set the speed so as I slow it down it will go a bit slower and if I do it fast, it will go quite fast. And you can set an animation delay, but for this first element, I don't really want to set a delay, right? So we've got the content right below it. So if I click on that content and then go to advanced, go back to the motion effects, and then let's say that we want this one to uh, fade in up as well, like this. So this will fade in first. And if we set that to fast as well, just like the other one, but we can set an animation delay so we can say give it 200 milliseconds which is one fifth of a second right and if we were to click update just as a basic example and then if we go to view this page and what i'll do is i'll just click here and just middle mouse click on view page and we can open it in a new tab and then we can see these two elements animate now whereas if we go to wordpress you'll see they're static there's no animation here but if we go to e-commerce now you'll see those two elements will animate. So let's have a look at some other elements. Let's take this bullet list. It doesn't really matter what sort of content it is. Uh, it could be a picture as well. Um, you can use this motion effects here. So maybe these bullet lists should like slide in from the left. So we could do um, slide in, let's see, fading from the right. Let's do fading from the left. Fading from the left like this. And we can make that a bit more i prefer it to be fast but you can set whatever speed slow fast whichever one you want here and because this content is visible um on this uh first view right so when everyone loads this page they'll see this part here as well so you can still see this part here so we want to set a delay on this as well so this one was 200 milliseconds so we'll set this one to 400. so there'll be a bit of a delay between these three elements animating i'm just going to save it just update it and if we were to go back to this page and then just we can just refresh it we we'll see all of those three elements will now animate and they'll be staggered right they won't all happen at the same time it's nice to put a bit of a delay between then you get a bit more of a nicer animation sequence so we could scroll down you can apply this to buttons this logic you can apply it to images maybe we'll show you on this button down here uh, maybe we'll do something with this so let's go back let's click on this button here and it's actually anchored already so when i click on it to be a bit careful let's click on this little pen icon and then we'll go to advanced let's go to motion effects and we don't want it to move we want it to have an effect on it right or this particular one uh, so we could do something like swing we're actually on the wrong one let's click on this one here and we'll go to advanced and we can go to motion effects and we'll set that one to swing here let's see find it uh, right here swing yeah and th because this is out of this out of the view of the initial load that animation won't happen until we can see it visibly on the screen 
So this one we want to get rid of that swing. So let's just set it to none. And then you can click on this swing here and you can set its speed as well. So let's just click here. I think I just turned it off. Let's just turn it back on again. Uh, swing. You can set its speed here if you want to set its speed. I think normal is pretty good. But let's just check this one here. Uh, let's see. We can turn that one off. We don't really want it on that one. So we'll just turn it off. So let's update this. Let's see how that works now. And if we go to the top of the page and just refresh, we should see these three elements we originally animated. But when we get down, then you can see the swing. So until we see that particular button down there in the web browser view, it won't animate. So it's not animating right now, but when we get to it, it will show, right? So let's do something with this little bit of content here. Let's go to this title here. And let's show you this uh, other effect that I like. I like to use this sometimes, not all the time, but we can see bouncing up, right? Like this. It kind of bounces and it has this little bounce effect at the end. I prefer to run it fast. This one here, we can click on this piece of text here. We can go back to the motion effects and we can set this one to, let's say, uh, let's have a look. Maybe we set that to just sliding up and we'll set that to fast as well. Maybe we can slide in this button as well. So we'll click on this little pen icon. The reason why I'm not clicking on the button and the pen icon, if I click on the button, if it's got an anchor or some function to it, it will go to that position on the page. So when you roll over, you can just click on the pen icon, go back to advanced. Let's go back to motion effects. And in here, uh, we want it to just sliding up, right? Sliding up. And then we'll do that fast as well. So we need to set delays between these. I don't think I did that. So let's click on this second one. And inside the motion effects, we set it to fast. Let's set it to 200 delay. 200 seems to be a pretty good number. I like stagger them. So if you've got lots of animations, try and set them 200 uh, milliseconds apart. And then on this one, let's see motion effects. It's set to fast and we set this to 400. If I had something underneath that that was animated, I'll set it to 600. The first element, you don't need to set a delay because that's the first, first thing that someone's going to see. So let's click update. And then we'll go to this page. We'll just go back to the top and we can see the whole sequence, right? So here you can see this animating. And now you can see that animating as well. And I've got this little fade on here. So if I refresh it, you'll see this will fade, right? Like this. And I've got this text typing tool over here. So maybe I'll show you how to use that uh, in a future tutorial. So that's what you can see the fade here as well. This is like a scroller, so it's not really fading or anything like that. The rest of the site is pretty straightforward. There's some more fades down here. So that's how you can use that particular tool. There are lots of other options in there, so don't they think uh, those are the only options that you, you can select. There's many other options in there. If we were to click on this title, go into motion effects, and you can see there's lots of different options in here for you to play around with. Um, you know, it's just down for you to now go and experiment and see what works well. But try and only use like one or two different styles. Don't try and do like loads of, don't try and use everything in here. It will be a total mess, right? So normally I just use like fades or slide in something very very simple um and just sequence them out and then it tends to look a lot better than using some of these like crazy ones like wobble and stuff like that it just doesn't look very good or stuff like this but it depends you know it's your website you need to see what works best for you okay so let's just have a quick look at that one more time we can see the content animating in here, that we can see the button animate, and we can see this content down here animate. And I'll just continue down the page. You don't have to use it everywhere. You can use it sparingly on certain sections, depending on what you want to emphasize. But normally, like on the intro or the first thing they see, sometimes it's nice to have that. But again, you know, it's your website. You need to kind of choose what works best for you. Okay, that's the end of this video tutorial showing you how to animate text content using Elementor Pro. Hopefully you find it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can access all of my video tutorials for free. And I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.